Hey guys, what is up, and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make a pen health bar on Scratch, just like this one I made over here. So, as you can see, we have a health bar and a health variable slider. And if we slide this, as you can see, the health bar updates and it changes colors. All in all, it's just a really good uh, health bar. So, without further ado, that's what we're going to be making in this tutorial. So, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I've created a new project and let me first name it to health bar tutorial. And there we go. Now the first thing we need to do is delete the scratch cat. Sorry buddy. And we need to paint a new sprite. And just leave the costume area blank because this is going to be called health bar and it's going to be made of pen. Now a pen is something we don't do that often and that's because it's very it can be very difficult to make something with pen, but if you have the right techniques up your sleeve, then it actually becomes very easy. So the first thing to do is import the pen extension by going here and saying pen, and let's get started. The first thing we need to say is make a new custom block called reset, and say run with that screen refresh. And here we're going to say erase all, pen up, set the pen color to and we're actually going to make it not completely white but just like a watered down version of white it doesn't need to be too much and here we're going to say go to negative 100 0 later we're going to make a variable for this white position and here we're going to say move or pen down then move 200 steps so here when we say, when we put, when go click restart, it's, it, it draws a very thin line. And that's because we need to set the pen size to a value. So I'm going to set it to something like 26. As you can see, we have a nice little um, border for a pen. Let's make a new variable now called health. We can leave it for all sprites. And here in the Wengo click sp uh, script, we're going to set health to 100 because it's the standard value for health in games. And I'm going to make a new custom block called make health bar. We, we have to leave the run without screen of first block unticked because we always want it to show the updates. Okay, we can start off by duplicating this and getting rid of the erase all. Also, we need to get rid of the set pen color too because we're going to make another custom block for that. Set pen size to 16. Also, in this move ten, 200 steps, we're going to put health times 2. Because health is 100, right? So 100 times 2 is 200. However, if the health equals 90, then it's going to move 180 steps. So it's always going to stay updating. That's why we need to do it like this and then like this. So how do we make it always update? Let's first set the pen color to something at the very uh, beginning just to test it out. And what we need to say is make health bar. And as you can see we have a nice little a green health bar right there. But as you can see the slider doesn't work. And that's because it's it only drew this once so it doesn't really take into account any change in the variable. However, if we do this, however, if we do set it to 50, then it'll work. But we don't want to keep on going into the code and setting the help to something. So we want it to, so if the slider is slided or slid, then we need to change its health bar. And that can be easily done with the forever loop, both around the reset and the make health bar. This part I didn't explain that well, so editing Astronaut's code will explain it even better. Basically what I was saying in the video is that if you put the reset custom block outside of the forever loop, then the code won't update, as in the green bar won't um, ever move. So if you, put it, if you put the reset custom block inside, um, then it will update. So that's what I want to tell.
didn't have to make much sense, but it works. So you have to put the reset custom block inside of the forever loop. And as you can see, it works perfectly. It updates, but oh no! So what is this? The health is zero, but the health bar is still showing a value. So how do we fix that? What we need to do is we need to say if the health is less than one, then we need to um, reset. Now, as you can see, it works. There's no more green when there's there's no more health when there's zero health. Now, it, this is great and all, but um, it's just one color. And normally in health bars, there's more than one color. So let's um, fix that out next. So we can actually delete this custom block. Uh, I mean, delete this block, the set pen color too, and make a new block called make health colors and we're going to put that where we used to put the set pen color to here we're going to duplicate this and we're going to say if the health equals 100 now this is kind of a useless addition but it's going to help us later on when we need to change the colors of the of the health bar. We need to say if health is 100 and health is 100. I know that may seem pointless, but watch what's going to happen next. And we're going to set pen color to green. So if you have scratch add-ons, and this is a very cool um, thing you could do, if health is less than 100 and health is greater than 90, that's why we did this, it's just quicker. Or let's do greater than 80. Then we're gonna decrease the color a little. And we're gonna say if health is less than 80 and greater than 60, we're gonna reduce even more. If health is less than 60 but greater than 40, we're gonna make it to be that yellow. If health is less than 40 and greater than 20, then I'm going to make it like a goldish color. If health is less than tw 20 but greater than 10, then I'm going to make it that or orange color, closer to red. And if health is less than 10 and greater than 0, then set it to the red color. Now let's see if this works. As you can see, it works perfectly. We have a nice little health bar that changes colors. Now the last little addition that I'm going to make is I'm going to make a new variable called health bar y pause. And I'm going to put that in right here. And where is it? I'm going to clean up blocks. I'm going to put the health bar y pause here and here. So we can set the health bar y pause to zero. I know go to originally where it was, but for my demo project, I set it to be 150, and that's actually a pretty good value. So yeah, that's how you make a health bar on Scratch. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, smash like and smash subscribe. And I'm having trouble finding out, figuring out what to do for my next Scratch tutorial. So if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if, um, uh, and I'll see you guys next time, everybody. This is Astro Music Code, signing off.